Hello everyone and welcome to Paper and Moose and welcome to Auction Day. Another on-site auction, another adventure, another chance to see what people have collected through the years that they need to get rid of. So join me, let's get our bidder's number and see if there's anything that we can buy. There's one box that one. They have a Bernie's Mountain Dog here. But she went inside. I want to pet the dog. Leave the dogs out. So I can pet them. Oh, oh wow. You have a lot of fridges. Oh, look at that. Number 11, H or High Boy. That's nice. That is neat. Wow. I got enough furniture. It's messing it up. It's still nice though. So. It's by the WA Hathaway Company, New York City. How old is it? Uh, oh, it's dovetailed on the side. Yeah. If it's not old, it wasn't cheap. No, no. I'm gonna put my TV on in my living room. Then I gotta feel like my neck's gonna be like this when I watch TV. It was in the back room, the big back hutch. Uh huh. I opened the door, but there's a whole tray of rings in it. Jeez. So I went up the stairs. Yeah, oh, yeah. She's like, I don't think that goes with it. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> this is a really cute house. Oh, they got an in-ground pool back there. This is a really nice house. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Oh, I like that jacket. Is this jacket for sale? That's nice. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. That is so nice. I don't know how old it is. I don't think it's too old, but it's nice. Oh, look at that. Not for sale. This is a great house. Really nice house. Wow. Look how cute this goes. It goes like that's awesome. Jeez. Imagine carrying this up here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't even want to. I think if I think if you go in here, you go out the uh, Yeah, dimension. Narnia. Let me go. I'll go find Mr. Tumnus. Wow. <laughs> that is really Let's nice. see if there's any jewelry down here. <laughs> Nothing. That's yeah, that's yeah, that is a find the witch in the wardrobe closet. <laughs> We've entered in the basement, but I don't know what is and isn't for sale. And look at this guy. Gluten, no base, 
so nice. Look at this table. Oh, that's just the top. That's great. Yeah, what's for sale? I don't know. Because you figure if we weren't allowed down here. That's a great basement. That's a nice workbench. Those are full. I think they'll go for as much as the other ones. <laughs> oh wow. Any red lines in there? Well, just in case I don't get anything at the auction, Auction Life pulled through again and surprised me with this box of aprons. He was like, would you pay a dollar for this box without showing me what was inside first? And I was like, yeah, sure. He never took the dollar anyway. So he bought a storage like shed a few months ago and has been getting just great things out of it. And there was this whole box of aprons. My favorite recipe is in the Express Classifieds. Look how cute these are. I oh, this one has deer and birds. That's a great one. What's this? Is this like a, oh my gosh, who is this? Let's dance and sing and make good cheer. That's like a vintage Christmas one. So yes, I might not get anything today, but we got a whole nice thing of aprons. World's best cook. That's not me. <laughs> Don't mind my face. I had a chemical peel, so it's peeling. But anyway, <laughs> uh, it is a beautiful house. I love the house itself. What they are selling. Well, it's nice stuff. It's just stuff that it's just stuff. Um, they actually have a garage sale sign inside, so I wonder if they had a garage sale prior. I'm not sure. And then the homeowner is going through and like taking stuff out of the boxes and keeping it. Which, okay, it hasn't sold yet. I guess it's still theirs, but that's a big no-no in the auction world because you might have someone that sees something in a photo that was in that box that drove here say an hour and a half just for that item and you pull it and so now you've lost that sale and the person is mad and then they like complain to the auctioneer and it's not really the auctioneer's fault so don't do that if you were going to hold an on-site auction at your house at a relative's house just do your due diligence and go through everything prior to make sure that you want to sell it i know when the day comes for an auction and you actually see your stuff being sold, it can be very emotional, but try to prepare yourself beforehand because you're going to make the auction goers mad and you're most likely going to make the auctioneer mad, especially if it is a high end, you know, a really good piece that many people have come to the auction specifically for. So what is here for me? Not much, at least for what I resell. Now, there are a lot of great flea market pieces. There are beautiful furniture pieces, but it's just nothing that I sell online or that I sell at the flea market. There is the box that has the older books, but there is another um, guy here. Actually, the person that bought the postcards at the previous auction, he was looking at them. A lot of the stuff looks old, but it is not. It has the Made in China sticker on it, and it's from places like Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, etc. There's a lot of great Crocs, and most of those Crocs have big cracks. <laughs> Crocs with cracks. <laughs> That's not something you want to see if you are a collector and reseller of Crocs. A little crack is okay, but like a 6-inch, 8-inch crack, there goes your value. So, what will I buy? We shall see. If anything, I can probably be Taco Stack's helper and help him load the van because I'm sure he'll come away with lots of stuff as usual. He has a great knack of doing that. So, but another auction, another interesting day to see what people have collected and looking into a really nice home. The homeowner, when I came downstairs, she's like, you look like you're looking for a house. I wish because I would, this is a nice home. There's an in-ground pool. There's a great backyard. It's in a nice area. I asked her if the dogs came with it, and she said no. I guess. You don't want to sell your Bernese Mountain Dog. That was a nice pup. I wish I would have gotten her on camera. Her name was Willow, and she was very, very cute. But here is actually, guys, a beautiful pottery uh, plate. 
Christmas tree tops. And a great galvanized tray. All one money. It's got a $10 bid on this lot, $10 bid on it, $10 bid, $10 bid. This would be beautiful with uh, Christmas pine cones and such. $10 bid on that lot, $10 bid, $10 bid, $10 bid, about five. Who's got five on that lot? Five, 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 about three. Who's got a three dollar bid? Real quick, three dollar bid, three dollar bid. Now four, 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 four. I've got three now. Four, four. I've got three now. Four, 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 four. So three dollars. Seven. Seven. Lucky number seven. All right, guys. And now we've got a whole bottle collection here, all sorts. Some local, I bet. The whole lot. Anybody have a ten dollar bid on the lot? Ten dollar bid on the lot. Ten dollar bid. Who's got a ten dollar bid on that lot? Ten dollar bid. Ten dollar bid. Ten dollar bid. Ten dollar about five. Five on all the bottles. Five, 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 five. Who's got five on all the bottles? Five, 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 five. How about three? Now four, five, seven, half, ten, 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 ten. Do you sir? Ten, 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 ten. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. I've got ten. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. So ten dollars. So we got a little carrying thing there. We got an ultra mini one touch. What is it? We got some games in here. Grab the other two game boards that are up there. We got the other two game boards. Come with me, Kitty. A harness here. We've got Parcheesi. We've got Sorry. And we're going to put in the little play school piece, too. We're going to call this the toy lot. Here we go. All one money there now. How about 20 go, 20 go, 20 go. How about 10? How about 10 to go, 10 to go, 10 to go, 10 to go. How about 5? How about 5 and a 5 and a 5? How about 3 for all of it? 3 for all of it? Dollar for all of it? Dollar for all of it? I can't make it any more enticing. How about a dollar for it? Go. Dollar sold. Number is. I spent a whopping $4 so far. I bought a bag of unused. Uh, winter hats and scarves for a buck and then I got this guy we got this it's you can't see it but it's a Tommy Bahama beach cart for three dollars the wheels are great I have my other beach cart but the wheels are starting to deteriorate so three bucks for Tommy Bahama that is not a cheap beach brand I got the beach buggy for three dollars and then we got this bag of never worn looks like probably Walmart sale uh, winter hats and scarves. I think there's even like some rugs on there for a dollar. These would actually be great if you're having a Christmas party and you need, you know, a, a cheap gift. Wrap it up if you play games where they can win prizes. Hogwarts. I have seen some of the Harry Potter movies. So that was a dollar. Four dollars. <laughs> Probably the cheapest auction I've been to yet. You know, there's a lot of stuff. It was a lot of Christmas tree shop, Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, which people do buy and they like to decorate with. It's just stuff that as for a reseller for resale value, can't can't really do it. At least at the flea markets that I'm at. So quick auction. There's more to come. As we get to the winter months, there's even auctions during the middle of winter. So just gotta make sure we're all bundled up for that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be bundled up for winter and all my beanies that I bought, and I'll be ready for the beach with my beach buggy. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're out and about at your local auction, hope that you win something that is useful to you or that you can resell, collect, or even gift. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose. Mm -hmm.